There are a few occasions where it will be necessary to upgrade the firmware on your Caseta bridge. In most cases, the bridge firmware is updated automatically when a new version is pushed to the server after initial setup. We will now show you how to properly update the firmware to your Lutron system bridge. The Caseta app will notify you in the event that the bridge needs a firmware update. Unplug the power from the Caseta bridge for a few seconds and then plug it back in and then select next. This message is typically seen with new system setups or when an updated firmware revision is available in the app. The software should advise that the bridge is updating and that this could take anywhere from 8 to 15 minutes. In many cases, it is quicker. It is important to keep the app open during this process. The light ring around the Caseta bridge should be flashing in a circular motion during this process to indicate the unit is receiving the firmware update. When finished, you should see a prompt that the firmware update was successful and then be able to access the system again. If this is a new setup, the next screen you will see is the home name screen for which you can add the name to the bridge. Again, if this is a new system setup, the next screen you will come to is the time and location setup. This will grab the local time and location from the phone in order to sync it with the app. Finally, if you are using an Apple device to set up the app, you will be asked if you would like to set up HomeKit at this point, for which can be done at a later time and is usually suggested after all Lutron devices have been added to the Caseta app.